Oh, that looks nice. Look at that. That actually kind of looks like water. I think it looks nice. I'm happy with my fountain. Well, so far it's only a bath. Good day, friends. Today we're back in Build-A-Boat for Treasure. <gasps> Because today I'm going to make a video that you guys have been wanting for so long. Like my most requested boat of or build of all the builds that you guys have ever asked for um, that I haven't done yet is make a house. Tommy, please make a house and build a boat for treasure. So I thought maybe we can make this a series. I don't want to make it in one go. I don't like today. Today is only one day. Do I have to finish it today? I don't think so. I think... It would be cooler if we make it into a Build-A-Boat series. So that means that this is not only the first time we're making this into a series. Instead of making the boat in one go, we're just going to make multiple videos about it. Maybe two or three or maybe 30. I don't know. Maybe we'll keep making videos about this house, keep making it bitter, bigger. Maybe one day it'll be a town. I don't know. But let's not do it in one go. Let's not rush it. And apart from that, it's also the first going to be the first thing that I build in build a boat for treasure that's not actually meant to go it is not meant to actually go that way towards the treasure this is going to be the first thing i ever make in build a boat for treasure that's just meant to stay here that i just built to stay here it's going to be a house first there are some questions like which way is the front i think it's best if the front is this way so when you spawn it will the front door will be like this way i'm not really sure how far but I have another question and I cannot really decide and that is how high do I start building? You see, if I make the floor here, if I start building the floor right here, then that means that I can never make a basement because you cannot build under here, you know? I mean, you could build under here, but you couldn't go under there. So I can never make a basement that I can go in. So that means I would have to start building higher, like make the floor like here, and then I could make this into the basement, but then... I would have a house that's sort of floating. So I don't know how to do that. I guess I could also, what I could do is just build a normal house. So I could start building the normal floor here, except if I ever want a basement later, I will just take the door and delete it and put the door higher on the next floor. And then I make the grass up. And then the, what, what, what used to be the ground floor will then become the basement. That's what I can do later. Okay, you know what? Let's just do that because then I can just go start building right now. Okay, so first things first. Can I make this path continue? Because that would be awesome if I could do that. Let's see if I can do that. Like this? No. This is the best I can do. This is the best I can do. So like this. Uh, and then you have to paint them? Like, what color is that? No, that's not it. That's not it close i think it's this color okay that's this color i have to i have to keep that in mind that's the fourth yellow color okay fourth yellow color grass what color was the grass again is it this one maybe oh it is wait is that that is it that's it right i'm pretty sure that's it okay so that's the second one from the top so now if i continue building i can sort of continue wait this one's a little bit off though this one's a little bit off, but that's the best I can do. Now I can continue the path. <gasps> I'm going to do this, you guys. I'm going to do this. Okay, let's see how long is it now. I want it to be pretty long, actually, like up here. And then I want it to go in a circle. Like in some kind, sometimes if you have these really big mansions, then people have like a road that goes up to their mansion. And then if people come with the cars, there's like a circle so they can turn around and go back. So that's what I want. And of course, we should make like a gate here. There's the gate. If you want to get into my property, you need to go through the gate. So I should make a gate here. But first, let me make this a little longer. Okay, I think that's probably long enough. Now I have to make it go in a circle. So it's four bricks wide. How do I make it go in a circle? Wait, let me first paint it. Which one was it? The fourth? Was it? The, I think it was the fourth, right? Yes. Okay, I remembered it. Okay, so that's the fourth. Then I will have to make the sides, but I will do that later. First, I want to get the shape right. I want to get the shape to go into a circle right here. Two hours later. Okay, it sort of looks like a circle. It sort of looks good. But now I only have 16 blocks left. And I think I need like 100. 
So I'm going to have to open a, not a lot of these to get enough blocks. Uh, maybe I will continue that later, or should I now open a lot of uh, chests? I'm not really sure. I, I know you can get them from the first one, but not every time. So that's going to take forever. There's one. <laughs> oh, this is going to take a while to get a hundred of these. There's two, yes, thank you so much. Thank you so much, this is going to take a while to do. No, <laughs> now I'm officially out of them. I'm going to keep opening the blocks, but I think I'll do that when I'll stop recording. So for now, uh, I think this part is done. Uh, let me paint this part too. All right, I was stopping to merge. I don't know, when you merge them, they look better but they all stick together so if you want to remove like one specific block you can't do it you have to delete everything so that's kind of annoying okay so this is the path for now maybe i need to make it wider what do you guys think do i need to make it wider then cars might fit but we can pretend they're small cars but this is like the same size as the path over there so this i think this looks nice now i need to put like a little fountain what about that if i put like a little fountain in the middle that would be pretty cool right Okay, okay, okay. I made the bottom of the fountain and I kind of wanted to have like a checkered pattern. Can I do that? Like this? Oh no, that one doesn't work. Oh no, okay. Okay, you know what? We'll just make everything black. Let's just make everything black inside the fountain. Okay, so now I have to add the water, which of course will be the glass. So let's see, do I have a lot of glass? 600, that's a decent amount of glass, right? I think that's quite a lot of glass. Okay, 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 okay. So now we've got water. At least we can pretend this is water. Do I need to paint it? I can pretend it, make it, paint it even bluer. What's a nice color for water? Like light blue? No, that just looks white-ish. We could make it lava. What if we painted it orange? Lava fountain. I, that would be cool, but then I would have used uh, maybe gold and painted orange. Then it would look more like lava. Okay, I will just use this. This looks like a lot like fresh water, right? Oh, that looks nice. Look at that. That actually kind of looks like water. I think it looks nice. I'm happy with my fountain. Well, so far it's only a bath. So now what I need to do is make some water sort of go up. Like it's sprayed up like this. And then make it go like this in one direction. In another direction. And in another direction. And in another direction. Now the water is going spouting upwards. Do you see it? The water is just going upwards because it's a fountain. So the water is just going upwards like this. Psh. Now it's a fountain. Oh, I like it. I like my fountain. I like the start of my house. I think I'm going to have to end the episode here because I don't have that much time today. So I'm really looking forward to next week when we do episode two. Let's do episode two next week. And I hope we can start on maybe the front porch and then the front door. And then we can start making the entrance hall. Tell me what you would like to see in my house. I think it's going to be really awesome. I, I'm already so happy. I just made the path go all the way like this and like this. And then I made a little fountain. Tell me what the next step should be. Maybe plants around the path, like little trees. I think that will be next but yeah tell me what you think i should put next in my house and apart from that i hope you have an awesome day don't forget to stomp like a dancer.